Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a couple of different forms through Google Forms. The first one I'm going to start with is a bathroom pass. Do that, click no, new, go to more, click Google Form. I'm going to title it. This one I'm going to title just bathroom pass. Now, previously when I taught in the classroom, I just had it called like the class pass. But in our school, um, we have nurse passes that we have to hand the children and we all have fountains in the classroom. So really the only place they're going to be leaving to go to is the bathroom pass. So I'm going to type name here and Google automatically recognizes that as a short answer and they type it in. I'm going to make this a required question. Now, one of the things, sorry about that, you can hear Owen in the background. One of the things I want to say is that for our younger students, you might want to change this to a drop down and type their names in. Now, I'm going to show you what that would look like for them. So when I click on the preview, they click choose, they can just choose their name and then click submit and they're good to go. For these purposes, because I'm going to share it below, I'm just going to um, keep this the way it is. Now, I'm going to click responses because it will collect your responses. And I'm going to show you some of the information that's going to collect for you. So when I click create spreadsheet, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet because I don't have anything else right now at this time that I want to connect it to. I'm going to click create. So every time a child signs out to use the pass, it's automatically in this column going to tell you the date and the time they went, and then it will put it here. Now what's great about this is that once you've gotten a bunch, like if you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like, um, I feel like Tatiana is going to the bathroom quite a lot, you can click on the name form, okay. you can click on view, do, 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 format, no data. You want to click on data and you want to sort the column. So it will put all of Tatiana's times that she's gone to the bathroom um, in, in one spot for you. So you can absolutely organize it that way. And I'm going to put the link to this Google form for you below in the video description so that if you want to just copy it and use it and um, create your own response sheet, go right ahead. And or if you want to start with what I've already created and then create a drop down menu, go right ahead. It's completely up to you. So how do you share this with your students? There are two different ways you can share this with your students. When you click send, you can actually send them the link. So you could put this yeah. link into, into Seesaw and then once, especially for our students who have laptops, they can favorite this Google form and they can just constantly, they can just use it as a way to sign out. You can do the same thing with our younger students. They can open the link, they can save it as a, as an icon um, on the iPads and they can just open it. The other thing you could do is that you can copy this link and I use a QR code creator called QR Stuff. And when you go to QR Stuff, you can type the link in here. You can just paste it in. And you can copy this QR code, paste it next to wherever you want the sign out thing to be so they can just scan the QR code and it'll bring them automatically to the, um, to the bathroom pass. And... And so that's another way that you can do it. Oh no, he broke the 